come up with, uh, often with innovative plans, and do we really know they're going to work? Do we know there's going to be a good alignment with curriculum? Well, the best, best time to figure that out is before the building is built, during uh, diagrammatic stage, conceptual design, schematic design, even into design development. If we do curriculum mapping, it's a form of measuring before we actually build, are we well aligned? I'm flashing this plan because this is going to be one of three plans you're going to have a choice at your table to do a little bit of curriculum mapping on. And you can see here you have a common area that opens out onto a science project terrace. These are physics and chemistry labs, prep areas, and these are learning studios. And I'm going to ask you to actually, for your curriculum challenge, uh, to make this about how do I get the most out of a conference? And ask you to say, how do we work with 150 students in a space like that? Where are, they, where are they and what are they doing at any given time? Second project, Douglas Park School in Regina, a K-8 school, one of uh, six projects in Saskatchewan we're doing. And here the school has a learning community here, a learning community here, and another one, grade six to eight, up here. And this is the heart of the school. Curriculum mapping now on this project, we take a larger detail plan with furnishing so that staff can really have a sense of how it's used and the scale of it. And then we'll take various icons and work together in teams and identify with numbers where we're teaching and learning in different parts of the building. So for example, this is early childhood, and so we've identified that there could be 20 pre-K students here. So if you choose Douglas Park School, uh, you'll want to be able to account for 125 students in this space. This will be the third case study that you can have at your table and do some curriculum mapping with. Um, and you can see that there's a heart of the school kind of theme uh, that we see in all our schools. And there's also common areas for individual learning communities here and here. And this idea that they're always connected to the outside is really critical. Those common areas have a good, strong connection to the sun and to outside. Now if you look at this area, I'm going to explain a little bit about how we diagram the idea of agility here in this school. So notice this all school commons. And this is actually a stair that connects all three levels. This is a multi-purpose room connected to a band room, and it's got movable walls and a step down in the multi-purpose room. So it can be completely open, so this cafe can connect to it, this commons can connect to it, or it can be closed off. Uh, now we're going to go into this a little work together for a oh, half hour, and we'll have a little time at the end actually to share from a few tables and do some Q&A. After a few minutes, um, I spoke up and I said, I'm, I'm starting to get this. Um, Woohoo! What, <laughs> what, what we're doing is we're involved, we're, we're experiencing a process that could be very useful in working with schools, school boards, communities, students, and teachers. Um, started by sim simply trying to fit modalities to spaces, say, say what was the best space for a large group, what was the best space for independent study, and so forth. The result comment that I would make is that we quickly realized that students may actually do several of these modalities. Our most recent experience, literally this morning, and decided let's apply that thinking to the space. So are we talking about we and us, let alone it has implications for what happens when it becomes students and being used during the education sequence. One of the things that we said, if when we spend the most time in a conference, we want to be in the coolest space. We want that higher order of conceptual thinking. That's what I would care for, to learn from other people. So you have this nice, granny, it's wonderful, you know, outdoor, indoor, lots of natural light. That's the space I want to be in. So let's make 
physical, the most use of it. We're going to be going for two and a half hours for these presentations. Let's open up the doors. Now, we do have one design change. This feedback is uh, real life, <laughs> online. <laughs> feel. We basically said the folding door has to be back here. This should be a third overhead, so you really can open this up completely. So this area can be engaged with the